Libra, what's up my friends? I've missed you guys. So I already have all the decks pre-shuffled that we will be using tonight for your reading about monitoring spirits. Um, what are they doing? You know, um, what's the point? As I look at the clock, it says 1101. It just turned to 1102. So 111, you could be seeing 111, 222, or even 888. A lot, some of you. But um, anyways, this will be about who these people are, um, who they work with, what they're doing, okay? And if you're wondering what monitoring spirits are, here's a pretty good explanation. Monitoring spirits gather information on you to facilitate spiritual attacks, steal blessings, infect you with sickness, sabotage your success, and overall wreak havoc in your life. They can disguise themselves as a loved one who truly cares or a supporter, but your spirit won't fully take to them. And I have been struggling with this lately with not a lot of people, but you know, a certain, you know, few. And I'm like, wow, I really have been struggling about that. Yeah. So just, you know, be, be like the hermit. Also, Monitoring spirits can manipulate your dream realm. Eh, some of them. Reoccurring dreams of maybe eating or being fed, being chased by something or an animal, someone combing your hair, are signs your energy is being siphoned or evil eye is being casted. Now, I did have a dream one time where somebody was trying to feed me something with like pills and I was like, no, no, I don't want that. Like, stop trying to give me that. I don't want that. It was so weird. But anyways, let's get into it. So there you go. That gives you an idea. So message for somebody. There's somebody in physical jail with this Lenormand deck that is thinking of writing you a letter or they could be experiencing some of their last days here, okay? And for whatever reason, they need to get a hold of you or express something to you. Now, these monitoring spirits, some of them are definitely reptilians working with the reptilians. We have accomplice, partner in crime, with yes, and then look, if some of you were thinking like this was a female, we have female behind yes, and body double, deep fake, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay Libra, I'm saying, yep, it's because of your good your goodness, your good heart, your good energy, and your success. Those are the two cards that just, you saw it left on the table. It's not something about your social media too. They're watching you definitely close via any social media you may have. Behind accomplice and partner in crime is intuition. Look at that. They try to read on you themselves if there are other readers or psychics or they get readings on you a lot. Something possibly about a river. Okay. They definitely, here's this moon card. They're definitely working with that devilish energy in regards to like the art of confusion. Sometimes you don't know whether you can trust, a lot of the time you don't know whether you can fully trust who this person says they are, even over these internet times. You know what I mean? 
for some of you, it can be people that you've actually met and you know, or could maybe be even like friends or associates with, co-workers, whatever. But for some of you, this is people online. Yeah, it's a variety. Look at all the different birds on the tree. Okay. Who are these people? Who are these people? What are they doing? These monitoring spirits that are trying to watch Libra, stalk Libra. Hmm. La Ville. The Ten of Cups. Wow, and I just saw like an orb fly up. Whoa, with the Three of Swords. I just heard deranged. For some, yeah, for many of you, these people, some of these people are truly deranged. To even think that they could be like, you know, your body double type of weird stuff, you know? Try to take over your personality, who you are, what you look like. Like, that's the energy I'm getting there. And with this Ten of Cups, they're definitely jealous of you and possibly the, the way you are with your family and friends. You seem to have it all here with the Ten of Cups. But with this Three of Swords, it's like they really want to bring heartbreak to your to you having it all with the Ten of Cups, to your happiness, to your emotional happiness and fulfillment. The Six of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles at the bottom. They want to control your finances. They want to keep you, um, they want to try to keep your finances small. I just heard for some of you, like, keep you on a leash because you're going to surpass them. I'm seeing, I'm hearing like six of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. The Five of Cups, Heritage. I think this is the King of Cups. Homemade Blonde. With the Five of Cups. Wow, with the Five of Swords behind that. And the Six of Cups. Okay. For some of you, this is about your heritage. Let's see in the book who this is, 36. Yeah, the King of Cups. And I'm feeling like he's in reverse. Conflict with a powerful and dishonest man. And I'm looking at the clock now, it's 11.11. The clock in front of me, not the timer on the video. There's a clock in front of me. And I don't think it's the correct time either. No, it's not. But yeah, that's what it says. False twin, I'm hearing. False twin, false soulmate. Yeah, they tried to tell you. But they really just wanted 
uh, they feel defeated when it comes to you, Libra. So they've been sending people to watch you, this King of Cups and the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. They feel very... Um, They have no control here. This person really just was about conflict and dishonesty and sorrow. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm your past life soulmate, Libra. Or this is yet to happen, I feel. We'll leave that out. This King of Cups is jealous of who you are. Your heritage. Yep, Seven of Swords. Ah. Wow, with now the King of Pentacles at the bottom. So not only these monitoring spirits have to do with the King of Cups, but also a King of Pentacles masculine energy. Very deceptive with the Seven of Swords. What else can you tell me about these monitoring spirits? Why they're watching Libra? Two of Swords. Options. They know you have options coming up. Yep, with the Eight of Wands at the bottom. I tell no lies. Communication. Parte de Champagne, it says at the top. They also know that you can handle what, if anything, is being thrown your way. You have not only one sword to defend you, but two. And I just saw one, two, three, four on the clock. On the timer on the phone. Who else? Who else? Who's, who's the watchers? Who's the Watchers? Before we move on to these other decks. Who's the Watchers? They're telling me people, Libra. The Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody, you know, between 20 and 40. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Society. Look at that. It says it at the top here. You see that? Somebody said tap on something twice and maybe the camera will zoom in, but no, it's not working. <laughs> Let me see. No, that's okay. Anyways, it says society, four of wands at the bottom. So this knight of pentacles, king of pentacles, king of cups. Embarrass. Look at that. Look what it says at the top. Two of Pentacles. Wow. With the Eve card. In the Garden of Eden. And with her having nothing on, it represents with embarrass here with the two of pentacles it's like they're trying so hard to control your finances using magic look what's behind the eve card the magician trying big uh, big society you know big magic trying to keep you and your manifestation small you see that
but that's not in the debt that's not in your stars that's not in not in this life you're battling this magic really strong libra and you're doing really well they're just mad that you've you're acquiring this certain knowledge straight up anything else yep nine of swords with the chariot what is this nine of swords they miss the days when you were affected heavily by this anxiety or depression or what this sadness this grief because it's coming in under the five of cups okay when you were you know they missed the days when you were in a dark night of the soul but now you're in the nine of cups not the nine of swords they want to project the nine of swords onto you but you're in the nine of cups now we have the Knight of Cups. So you have the Knight of Cups, but it says Arrival. Morte. With the Death card at the bottom. This is... This is so insane. So it's like this is what they want to bring. I'm not trying to, you know, this is for entertainment purposes, always Libra, you guys know this, you know, um, but I'm not trying to bring paranoia to anybody, but they're definitely trying to embarrass you. They want to affect your finances because the two of pentacles is coming in under the six of pentacles. They definitely want to control your finances, but they can't, um, they miss the days when you were in your dark nights of the soul, when they could affect you mentally, or when you were um, in grief or sadness, possibly even over the loss, okay? And they they could send in mature people, people between younger people, between 20 and 40, with the two knights. But again, no. This is like, wow, look. It just like tossed out of my hand. Because he, wow, it's turning around on them. That's what I just heard from the angel of death. Three of swords. It's going to be heartbreak for them. I just dropped some of the deck out of my hand. And expose the three of swords. It's going to be heartbreak for them. Let me grab that card. Yep. Yeah, look. This is the card of air. It's like air, the heavens, the universe. We asked for their plans and who they were, and this is what we received, you know? Spirit isn't going to sugarcoat for us, Libra. just tells us what it is, but let's keep going. We're going to stop with our beautiful <gasps> air card at the bottom, and look what's behind air with the nine of wands, the target card. And the fan just cut off. Wow, with the Ten of Pentacles behind the Nine of Wands. It's okay. Your generational wealth is defended. Your generational wealth is protected and defended, okay? The Nine of Wands also talks about um, having your ancestors and loved ones protection behind you, okay? Protecting you from being any type of target. Because you came here, beautiful Libra, air, to do amazing things, period. Let's keep going. All right. 
I'm seeing. All right, we'll do the Kipper. I saw the change card twice. Yep, family room. This is like the wealthy room. For these monitoring spirits. Look at that change again. That's crazy. Message. You're going to receive a message that's going to possibly change your life, I just heard, for some of you. Look at that journey and pathway. Oh my gosh, Libra. Journey and pathway just came out together. You're on a journey. You're on your life path. This is changing your life. This opportunity is changing your life for some, not all, but for who this applies to. This could also be some type of like something that's been a long time coming in the courts for some of you. What else? What else, please? May mail and courtship with dist distant horizons. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Marriage. An unexpected income. Stop it. But yes, don't stop it. Message, Libra. Message. I'm telling you. Wow, all good cards. Let's keep it going. Yeah, monitor that. Monitoring spirits. You can't stop this. This is... This is divine. I'm hearing this is divine. This is divinely led for Libra. You hear that plane? Divinely led. It's coming in, Libra. Let's go. It's coming in hot. Yep. Your rejuvenation. The chalice. Rejuvenation and fulfillment. Get ready to experience it. Oracle, the oracle. Seek wisdom and guidance from elders. This also tells me that many of you are the chosen, the oracle. Okay. Especially of like your family. Yeah, the sun and the caduceus. With the Sphinx at the bottom, I cannot make it up. Look at this gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. Okay. But look at the sun and the caduceus came out together. This is healing. This is your perseverance is rewarded. And you will receive news from afar. Congratulations, Libra. Congratulations, Libra. These monitoring spirits couldn't stop anything. Nope. Let's go. Who are these monitoring spirits and who do they work for? What do they want? Look at that. Who are these monitoring spirits and what do they want? Mountains. We have water. Hmm. Something about... Clean up, aliens, motel, hotel, on the road, mail, I'm hearing, here I go again on my own, dun, dun, dun. this is a masculine energy, going down the only road I've ever known. Feeling alive. Wow. 
Wow. You could have escaped the grasps. Somebody escaped the grasps of the devil in reverse. And with outer space, it's like you're, you got out of there. Something to do with a parental figure for some of you could also have to do with these monitoring spirits. That's only for some. Okay. Weird science. Dun -dun. Again with the mountains. There's that river and there's that card reader. Breakup at the bottom. There definitely could be sending some type of breakup spells to those in relationships, Libra. But there's, you got justice. You are justice. Their magic will not work. You may get a headache. You may feel a little woozy one day or a little uh, cranky, but that's, that's the most of it. It's false. It's BS. Okay. Oh, get ready for a very important meeting, work meeting. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, meeting and work and communication. Let's use the other part of the stick and see what else would like to come out about these monitoring spirits. Who do they work for? Why are they watching? Libra. Wow. Okay. He gives me like Anon. Wow. And we have the Most High God. It's because they know that you are a child of the Most High God, Libra. Okay. In this mask, you know, you do represent what's good. Okay. The balance, justice, served. And you also have a celebrity. So this could have to do with the celebrity, you being with the celebrity, or you being the celebrity. Whoa, that's too many. Crypto. Regret. Landfill. Hidden key, happy, Libra, wow, happy just shot, okay, hidden key, intergalactic travel, this to me is like astral travel, okay, to us, but you could also be experiencing some type of intergalactic, you know what I mean, intergalactic, anyways, happy, that you're receiving this key and these planes keep coming in Libra that's like the third or fourth plane we've heard <laughs> let's go all right let's see about the Lenormand who who are these watchers the moon listen they work with the dark they work with the dark side the dark side for sure. What goes with the moon? They're especially watching feminine Librans. Okay. Or they could be sending some type of decoy out from this dark society to my masculine Librans. Tower at the bottom wanting to cause some type of tower. That's just a heads up. Again, not to paranoid any not to be paranoid. Woman with the moon is an emotional woman. So this person could be like a queen of cups energy. Or they could portray themselves to be, you know, caring, intuitive, kind. But they're a fox. Boom. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Look at that. I don't just say things for nothing, Libra. You know this, my friends. The anchor at the bottom. They want to bring you down. Whether this is a friend for feminines, whatever, or a love interest for masculines. 
Look at this. The garden. What about the garden? The stars. Wow. The, commu the garden to me is like the community card. And the star card, that's you, Libra. You're going for it. You're making your wishes come true. Your wishes are coming true. Community values. Yep. Community values. And I'm telling you, the community is talking about your stardom, your upcoming stardom. These monitoring spirits. Can't stop. Can't stop anything when it comes to you and your divine destiny. All right, let's see. Who are these people? Who do they work with? Golden ratio with the gray shorts at the bottom. I just turned to shadow self. Golden ratio says beauty, nature, and patterns. This could be something they just do, like... Create fake accounts, you know what I mean? And try to be somebody they're not. It's very weird. Yeah, they definitely belong to some type of, again, secret club. With the Kabbalah Tree of Life. Andromedans at the bottom. This is you, Libra. Manifestation, autonomy, and free will. That's why they try to send these monitoring spirits and watchers towards you. Because you have free will. And you express your autonomy. And you're learning about all the powers of manifestation. And you're getting better and better at it, my friends. Truly. Know this. Mantis beans behind that. I'm telling you, it's okay to, you know, pop out every little bit, but remain enigma, elusive, sensitive, okay? The mantis beans. Watch that mantis short I have here on Labrland. It's so good. We got a visit from the mantis beans, Labrland. Arcturians behind that, feeling safe, wisdom keepers, concern. This is who they work for. MIB. Stalking, intimidation, confrontation. At thir I can't make it up. At 33, 33. And I'm holding number 13. So 33, 33 and number 13 has a lot to do with this. The whole monitoring spirits, watchers, society. I'm telling you. Stalking, intimidation, confrontation. Behind that, strength, courage, bravery. Okay? Stay strong, Libra. You got this. You have the foresight, planning, and strategy. Okay? The smarts. And then again, we have the grays. Timid, misunderstood, shy. They're playing these games. Like, oh yeah, I'm a good, I'm good, Libra. I'm, I'm just timid. I'm just misunderstood. I'm, you know... That's why my posts are kind of off and my pictures are so heavily filtered. I don't know if I'm a real person and wompity womp womp. And you're just like, how can I trust this person? Alpha Draconians, stop it. Listen to your intuition, Libra. You're so much smarter than these people, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and clear your energy and clear my energy with some Sage and Palo Santo spray before we get out of here. Ma'am just for you. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing any negative energy from this space and from around me and from around my Libra friends. We accept only 
positive, loving energy from our guides, angels, ancestors, and loved ones of the highest realms. Amen. So it is. Thank you, Libra. Give this reading a big thumbs up. We'll chat soon. Read you later. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Peace, you guys.